Good morning, Hamden Academy Sharks. I'm Xavier LaPierre. And I'm Nathan Google. Today is Friday, June 9th, 2023. Today is an A-Day. Today, we are featuring a segment on the recent sixth grade trip to Hammond Castle, one student in the spotlight interview, the track team championship, and the band and chorus concerts. All library books are due today, June 9th. Please check your email for a list of things that you owe. Sixth grade students, the Bikes for Books raffle will take place on Thursday, June 15th during lunch. Make sure to get your books entered into the online form on the library website. Here's some softball info. Hampton Academy beat LAS 19 to 8. The girls had excellence at bats, hitting, and running the bases as well. Morgan had nine strikeouts in three innings. Innings. Ellie Morgan and Olivia H. with Livy Pint running each had three at bats, combining for nine of the team's runs. Olivia H. had a game ending solo double play at third base. Awesome game all round. Today's lunch will be hot dog on a bun, pickles, bag of chips, veggies, and milk. That lunch sounds yummy, yummy. We have the April MVPs from the physical education classes. To be chosen for the PE MVP award, students demonstrate the following. They fully participate. They have a positive attitude. They help respect others. They play fair and safe. And they have fun. For April, we have 6th grade students Evan Kelly and Sianna Caruso. From 7th grade, the students are Kaylin Field and Chase Grundale. And from 8th grade, the students are Harper Babiak and Braden Sullivan. Congratulations to all the April Physical Education MVPs. We also have the May MVPs from the physical education classes. For May, we have 6th grade students Zoe Ziegler and Colin Lambert. From 7th grade, the students are Rhea Ryan and Curran Tabor. And from 8th grade, the students are Caroline Charwatt and Derek Finnegan. Congratulations to all the May physical education MVPs. As part of their medieval studies, Sixth grade ELI students read from Grandmaster Sweet Ladies, Voices Men from Medieval Village. It is written in a series of mon monologues, each spoken by a young member of a medieval village. Students focused on one of the members of the village. They wrote a summary about the member and decided and recited the monologue. Jackson had a chance to speak with some of the students. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with four sixth grade students, Richard, Livy, Molly, I understand you learned about medieval times and did a, a monologue about them. Richard, what did you learn in this unit? We learned how to like we learned how the how the like medieval ages had separate roles and stuff and we are presenting Tuesday and Wednesday. That sounds fun. And Livy, what is your character and a little bit about them? My character was Alice, and my character was a shepherdess that worked with sheep. Very cool. And Molly, uh, what did you like about this project? I liked studying uh, the character and writing the paragraph about them. That's cool. Thank you for being on Shark News. Thank you for having me. I only thought Squeegee is something kind to marry me. There's no time to be lost, and neither of late. If I have to accost him, I'm going to tell Father we simply hate peers. I'll go down on my knees, I'll say, please, I'll shed tears. I'm sharing your life. I'm willing to beg. And children, you're worked in. I'd rather have the plague. Your sorrows, your pleasures, your ill, and your bread. I'd rather have leprosy. Sleep in your bed. I must think over what clearly what Father has said. If I have to be wed, then what all said and said. I'd rather be dead than I'll wed peers. As a culminating event for their medieval unit, 6th grade students went on a field trip to Hammond Castle in Massachusetts. 
They had beautiful weather as they explored the medieval-style castle which John Hayes Hammond, Jr. built. Take a look at these pictures from the day. On Tuesday, 18 track athletes represented Hampton Academy on the state meet at Manchester Memorial High School. The coaches were proud of all the efforts and sportsmanship that everybody showed that day. It was a high quality meet with the best of the state, and our athletes competed very well. The girls 4x1 and the boys 4x1 and the boys 4x2 were all invited to the state meet and ran very well. The group brought home some medals and ribbons for placing in the top six of the state. Spencer Ziegler, Nathan Dillon, and Loie, Lola Gr Will we grow it? Made all to the finals of the hurdles. Congratulations to the boys 4x2 relay of Victor Kohlberg, Dylan Zumbach, Dylan Mu, and Nathan Dillon, who not only brought home a bronze medal, but set a new school record. Thank you to the 18 athletes who not only represented us on the big stage, not only athletically, but more importantly, in the sportsmanship. Best of, best of luck to the 8th graders as they move on to high school. Take a look at these pictures from this As a part of the 7th grade language arts curriculum, students read The Outsiders. Students this week were busy preparing for The Outsiders Day, which will happen Tuesday. Outsiders Day was created for students who experienced the life of a teenager during the, this mid-century era. Anthony had a chance to speak with some students about their preparations. Take a look. Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with Hazel, Kenny, and Owen, who are all seventh graders working on their Outsiders projects. So Hazel, what are some of the Outsider projects? I'm ba I'm building a car out of cardboard, but we can do a poster or a life-size cutout of someone. All right. And Kenny, how far along is your group? Uh, we are at the painting stage. And you're doing a car, correct? Yes. All right. And Owen, I'm assuming you're doing a car? Yes. Uh, what type of car are you doing? I'm doing a 1973 Porsche 911, and I'm also doing a 1960s TV. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you guys for being on Shark News. Thank you. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with sixth grader Dylan to talk about your acting. Dylan, when did you start at acting and singing? Um, I started acting and singing when I was about um, around eight or nine at the Seacoast Repertory Theater in Kittery, Maine. And what was one of your favorite productions that you were in? 
My favorite production was probably Annie or The Adventures of Frog and Toad. And what advice would you give to someone who is thinking about starting acting or starting singing? Well, um, all spots are filled up now, but if you want to register next summer, go to www.seacoastrep.com. And, see, and that theater that I act at has camps. They also have acting lessons. They also have singing lessons and dance lessons. So that's a great start if you want to get into acting and singing or any type of performing. Let's take a look at some of your work. Thank you for being on Check News, Dylan. Common Sense with Check and Nathan. This is Nathan. Nathan has to go from math to English, but I bet you he's not going to do it right. When Nathan walks out of the classroom, he sprints out and runs into Mr. Doherty's room. That's not the correct thing to do, Nathan. Nathan didn't even go to his locker to get the proper materials for that class, which he needs to get. Uh-oh, Nathan forgot his binder. Now he has to run out in the hallway to his locker to go get it. He left it on the floor outside another classroom. And he got locked out. Now he can't ba get back into the room. Nathan, what are you doing? You don't have time to stop at the makerspace between classes. Nathan, what are you doing on the gym floor? You had to go from library to art. Why are you down here? And we both know there's no running in the hallways. In this example, you can see that Jack is leaving his math class and going to ELA. But he's a little bit more smart about this. Here he comes. As you can tell, he is carefully going on the right side of the hallway towards his locker. You might think that he's just skipping his class, but he's going to put away his math binder and grab his ELA binder, which, if Nathan did correct, wouldn't have to take an extra trip. Common sense with Jack and Nathan. And now for the weather. Friday, it will be cloudy in the morning, then we will have on and off rain showers during the afternoon hours. The high temperature will be 61 degrees. Saturday, there will be considerable cloudiness with occasional rain showers. The high temperature will be 63 degrees. And on Sunday, it will be sunny along with a few clouds. The high temperature will be about 74 degrees. This week, we sadly did not receive any weather photos. But remember, you can send your Shark News weather photos into sharknews at seo90.org. <laughs> Celebrating her birthday on Sunday is Kinsley Canton. Happy birthday, Kinsley! Today is National Movie Night. Pop some popcorn, grab a blanket and your favorite buddy, put on some movies for a night of entertainment. National Movie Night on the second Friday in June encourage us, encourages us to start a tradition of movie nights with friends and family. In honor of National Movie Night, our fact of the day is a question for you. Who said this line and in which movie was it said? Some people are worth melting for. Our thought of the day comes from Roger Ebert, who was an American movie critic, film historian, journalist, screenwriter, and author. He said, every great film should seem new, Every time you see it, Roger Ebert. In honor of National Movie Night, our joke comes from a Disney movie. Hey Lucy, why can't you give Elsa a balloon? Why? Because she'll just let it go. <laughs> our answer to the fact of the day is this. Of course, Olaf in Frozen said, Some people are worth melting for. Remember, before you speak, text, chat, or post, ask yourself, is it kind, is it true, 
and isn't necessary. And remember the Academy way. Manage yourself, act responsibly, and respect yourself and others. Go out there and make it a great day.